Bentornati all'undicesima edizione del Festival del Cinema Indipendente organizzato dalla provincia di Foggia. Siamo in compagnia dei registi dell'ultimo lungometraggio in concorso, 27 metri quadri, Gabriella Serati e Fabienne Lartig. E abbiamo un'altra ospite che è Alessia Massa, nostra referente per l'ECO di European Independent Film Festival, che tradurrà le mie domande. Bene, come nasce l'idea di realizzare questo film? So, so, so the idea came because we wanted to make, uh, the first thing we wanted to make a film upside down and uh, mean we wanted to uh, have some uh, film material before to have a story line. So uh, we make a big uh, casting and find seven actors and uh, created with this actor seven character and with this seven character we made uh, like some kind of situation and then we filmed this situation and that was the material and which we, we, we start we started to edit it and create create the movie e la seconda domanda è questa, un film molto complicato, per certi versi sperimentale, perché racconta mh, storie d'amore, racconta la crisi di queste storie d'amore. E ci sono due montaggi, in alternato e in parallelo. Perché questa scelta? At the beginning, we edited many versions of the film. That, like as he said, we was writing the movie in the same time than than we were editing. So we write a different storyline from the situation because we didn't want to use the situation. We shouted. It was not uh, the love affair was the thematic, but we were looking for cliches. So it was really similar stories, even if it seems complicated for for us. It was like three almost similar stories. And uh, as we wanted to uh, show that all situation is mm, lived by two other person in two different way, we the idea of the split screen came of like a subjective split screen. It's not at the same time at two different places, but it's at different time or at the same time, the same situation lived from inside, from one of the character and from the other character. And I remember how it came, the idea of the split screen. It was funny, we were in an exhibition in, in I think, in Bobo at Paris. And there was a shoot, uh, there was two, it was a double exposition of two movie maker. And they was, they was actually screening two pieces in the same time, but it was not, it was not, uh, it was on purpose. And uh, we just go home and we made the whole film in split screen at the beginning and after we show it, we made many test screenings with uh, all the versions, like I think 100 persons saw the film <laughs> in test versions. And, the f the, and there was one version when the whole film was in split screen, but it was un impossible to digest for the people, except some uh, videoast artist friends who, <laughs> who enjoy to have the double information all the time. And after we, we just keep the split, split screen for the moment where we f find it really, uh, how to say, touching to our purpose that it's not the same mood for the characters to leave this situation, that one of suffering and if the other ignoring it and how, yeah, it's just a subjective split screen. But for each couple, there is another meaning for the split screen, so that I will not tell what it is. <laughs> Realmente credete che le coppie non riescano più a comunicare e abbiano bisogno di un traduttore e di un interprete? Ok. Uh, we said that I will say something and he will say the opposite, so I must <laughs> think about what I will say. Uh, now, the purpose for us is, of course, that many things can be resolved 
by communication and you need to talk and you need to talk much more than you talk and you can resolve anything. And of course, the, for us, this interpreter, traductor, character, it's like a metaphor of everyone. You must just take uh, one step and okay, have some distance with the situation and try to laugh on yourself when you are telling bullshit to your lover about like, yeah, I'm cheating you. So I like have a distance. So this character was this distance that everyone's having inside. So I think that we can communicate, <laughs> but maybe he's telling that we need a traductor. <laughs> yeah, no, I will, uh, no, no. <laughs> what I think it's, yeah, it can be a very good goal to don't need one. <laughs> I mean, in a couple life, yeah, could be the, the goal. Do you think? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bene, grazie ai nostri ospiti per averci lasciato questa intervista molto simpatica. E, mh, vi ringraziamo per averci seguiti e vi invitiamo alla festa del cinema che si terrà il 7 e l'8 di dicembre presso il quartiere fieristico. Grazie a tutti e arrivederci. <ride>